What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here, hello, I'm Keaton. So today's video is going to be my everyday glowy makeup routine. It's kind of like a spring makeup routine because this is kind of what I, I keep saying kind of, uh, an, enough Keaton. I'm not going to say kind of anymore, but basically this is the makeup that I have been doing to make my skin just look flawless and glowy and happy and I felt like it was a really good spring makeup routine for you guys. So I am going to be showing that with you today. So I'm going to be showing you guys my makeup today. I hope that you guys enjoy this. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you guys like it and you guys can subscribe down below. Also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I stay up to date with you guys so, so much over there. You guys can follow me. I talk to you guys on stories, Instagram, and you probably have already even seen this makeup look if you guys follow me on Instagram because I did do a quick little IGTV so you guys can watch it. But I'm going to stop talking. Let's get into this. I love this setup. Like I love when I have, you know, my mirror and my desk and all those things in the background. But when I do that, I'm just facing forward and I don't have a mirror to look at. So I always have to hold one. This Vanity Planet mirror is fire. I've had it for like years and you charge it basically. And then you can turn on the on button and it's a full on light. I don't know. It's really cute. It's good if you're traveling, you know, in hotel rooms, you don't have really good lighting. There's never a mirror where you need it and it's like dark in the restroom. I always bring, oh my God, I turned it on again. I always bring a mirror like this to do my makeup and stuff. Anyway, oh my God, stop talking. I'm going in. I'm starting off with this primer. I'm using this Milk Makeup Primer. I've used this so much. This was full. The fact that I'm almost done with the primer is shocking because I normally don't care much about the primer that I'm using and I'll just switch it up just like depending but that's how you know this milk makeup one is fire because I am almost done with it it leaves like a it feels moisturizing but it also leaves like enough um like tackiness like a little bit on your skin to where the makeup stays on really well so that is why I love this Okay, so this is where my routine gets weird. It's getting it's getting weird right off the bat. I feel like I need to fix this clip. It's getting weird right off the bat because ever since a couple months ago, I did that TikTok trends, like makeup trends video. I loved the way my makeup looked when I did my concealer and contour first. So I decided that's what I'm gonna continue to do. I hadn't done it in like probably three months or so. And now I'm back doing it and it's changed my makeup. Like I get so many compliments when I wear my makeup like this. So basically I'm just taking this Hourglass Vanish Concealer in the shade Birch and I'm putting it all over. This is a concealer that is way too light for me. It will definitely wash me out, but that is what the point is, which is why you put it on underneath your foundation. I really love the seamless look of your foundation. Like I always used to do obviously my concealer and contour on top of my foundation, but I just felt like you could always see, you know, where you obviously highlighted and things like that. But I love the seamless look of just having already light under eyes, but it doesn't look like you put concealer under there. And this is how I achieve that. And it's by doing this white, <laughs> look at how crazy I look. It's by doing this white concealer on underneath and it really lightens up the foundation once you apply it over top and it gives you that just like seamless skin toned look. Ooh! Also, the self tanner I have been using lately because I've been getting so many comments about it and saying like, wow, your tan looks so good, blah, blah, blah. The self tanner I have been using lately is the Filter by Molly Mae Tanner. Um, it is amazing. It's my new favorite, which is honestly kind of tragic because I have to get it shipped literally from the UK. Um, so that's kind of upsetting, but at the same time, it's worth it because it's literally the best tanner ever. I look insane. I look insane. Next up, so we can contour, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury wand. This is the darkest shade that they have and it's like this little bitty wand i don't know you basically oh i forgot to twist it you basically twist it no you twist it open and then you ah, i don't want too much to come out you squeeze the product out and we're gonna just dot all around this is where i would normally contour i know it looks really dark but this is what you gotta do to get it to come through in the foundation. I'm obsessed with these Charlotte Tilbury wands. I also have the highlighting one, which I'm gonna use today. I'm so glad TikTok shows me so many new 
makeup trends and like fun things to do with my makeup because I wouldn't be doing any of this if it weren't for TikTok. Like I would have never bought that Charlotte Tilbury wand. That's literally why I bought it because I saw all these like cute little model girls on TikTok using it. And I was like, I need that. So I bought it and here I am. There's also a blush one and I really want the blush one just because I feel like I want to go for like an all cream uh, moment. You want this contour to like look pretty dark and contrasted against what you would normally do. I feel like I could have even got a deeper contour, but basically just want your concealer and your contour to be really strong underneath your foundation so that when you layer it on top, it just peeks through and looks really cute. This clip is sagging down. Like what was I thinking? Am I doing it backwards? I think that was the issue. I think I had it on upside down. No, that's not the issue. It's just, it's just me. Next up, my favorite foundation right now. I'm mixing these two shades because I bought two depending on what skin tone I thought I was gonna be. And then when I mixed them together, it was like the perfect combination. But this is the Halo Smashbox uh, Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. It's a tinted moisturizer, but it really works as like good medium coverage, especially when I mix them together. It's definitely just enough. So what I do is I'm taking the shade medium tan on the back of my hand and I'm gonna do a little bit to start because I don't wanna go overboard. And then I'm gonna take the shade light and I'm going to do a drop in there. This Bare Minerals foundation brush, smoothing face brush, the best like foundation brush I've ever used. But I'll mix it up on the back of my hand and once it starts to look the color that I feel will match, I'll go ahead and look at that. It often looks dark once I put it on my face because I just put so much light concealer that made my face shape so freaking, not face shape, face shade so freaking light. So when I go in with this, I'm normally like, whew, I'm scared, but it works. Like it blends so nicely with my neck. I just go over everything. So like even over that concealer, you can see I'm already going over it, but it's not really canceling out that much of the concealer underneath, which is exactly what you want because then it really gives me a subtle contour and highlight without having to go back over the top of this foundation. Look at how glowy and healthy my skin looks now, and it just looks so flawless. I'm telling you, it's this, it's the combination of the concealer and contour oh yes there it is there's my foundation next up we're gonna go in with this laura mercier translucent setting powder and we are going to bake the under eyes we're gonna bake them even though there's not necessarily concealer on the top we just still want them to be set i don't even know if i would call this baking i feel like i'm just setting my under eyes because i literally put it on here and then like within 30 seconds i wipe it right off but it does trick my next two favorite products this is the milk makeup kush lip scrub i love this stuff and then i also go in with their lip balm so i always do this after i apply foundation because you know you have those crusty foundation lips it scrubs it off Ugh. rub it off on my fingers <laughs> and then i go in with their lip balm and it just primes my lips for when i do my lipstick later now we're gonna wipe away that baking underneath because you don't want it to get too white under there. And then I just use the excess to kind of set the rest of my face, but we're gonna set it with the powder right now so it doesn't even matter. But look how nice that looks. Okay, now we're going in with this Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. And I just take a little powder brush and I will basically set my whole face and especially my cheeks and stuff. This is a really, really sheer, like glowy powder. It sets, but it also doesn't make it look like your skin is like super powdery and disgusting. So I love this. This is like a favorite staple for me. Now to the fun part, I'm using this Gucci Beauty bronzer. I know it's a little bougie. Once you have this, like you, like I don't think you guys are gonna ever want another bronzer because this is amazing. I am in the shade two and it's really dark. So 
if you normally get lighter bronzers or if you get really dark bronzers, I promise you two is gonna be the one for you. I'm taking a big fluffy brush and patting off any of the excess bronzer and we're gonna go in and bronze the cheeks up. So I kind of go heavy with this all over and then we're going to use some setting powder and clean it up. We'll also bring it down the neck because we want to make sure all of this always matches. Now we're going to take that Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Again, I told you we were not done and you're going to take a pretty hefty amount and we're going to carve out the underneath of the contour. So at the ear, we're going to just carve her out. It's going to look like a beard <laughs> when you carve it all out, but I promise this helps so freaking much. Look at that. Look at that sexy beard I have. Just a little moment. But you can see how it's already cutting out like my cheekbones and kind of making it highlighted. So I have like brighter apples of my cheeks and stuff like that. So now we're going to go in with blush. This blush combo is my new favorite thing. This is the Laura Mercier palette and I'm going to go in with these two shades right here. This one's like a more coral and this one's really pink. Um, I believe this palette is only sold on Sephora so uh, I will link it all down below but just in case you look for this on another site I believe it's only on Sephora and we're gonna just blush up our cheeks I freaking love blush I know everyone is like loving a bright blush moment but I'm truly loving it especially because of my pink hair I just feel like when I add a lot of it it just makes me look a lot more glowy and happy I'm telling you if you think you're done applying blush, just keep applying more and it will look so cute. Also, always do the nose because the nose just makes it look adorable. I'm gonna leave this uh, powder on for a long time and now we're gonna leave it on while we do the eyes. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in. <laughs> I feel like this is really personal right now. I feel like this is just too close, but I'm going in with the holy grail most beautiful product i feel like this product is like broken the internet but if you haven't seen it yet i promise you you're gonna buy it after this because i'm shook so this is the anastasia brow freeze i am taking a little spoolie and i just kind of go in here and i grab a little bit at a time and we are going to comb out our eyebrows and this is going to make them look like that bushy laminated look even if you have barely any eyebrows i swear on my life this is gonna make them look so much better. So I'll show you guys right here. Like literally, I just comb it up and I don't know what the hell this product does or like what is in it, but you could see it just separates all of the hairs and combs them up. And when I say my brows don't move, you don't wanna apply too much because you don't want it to look like goopy, you know, kind of like how you do soap brows. But look at the difference in these two brows. This one just looks so lifted and happy i'm gonna get my brows laminated i think pretty soon so i just feel like having this product is just gonna be like a plus with that because it's gonna make them stay up but the lamination aspect like literally these already look laminated because they just look separated but look how cute wow my brows look so much better okay now i'm gonna fill them in just a little bit i don't do a whole lot but just to fill in like the ends of them so they're not super like gappy, if that makes sense. I'm using this Milk Makeup. This is the Kush Triple Brow Pen. I love this freaky pen. It's just so easy. It's literally like a little marker, but it's not too like dark to where you're like, oh my God, I just sharpied on my eyebrows. But it lightly just fills them in wherever I need them to be filled in a bit. Maybe a little bit in the front always do the ends i think i need another one of these because this seems like it's running out that's my entire brow routine there you go now we're gonna do eyeshadow so i know for my eyeshadow for a long time i was doing like a dark you know eyeliner moment which i really love i still do that and i think i'm gonna do another like makeup tutorial or probably put it in like a daily vlog of me doing like a super dark smoky eye because i love having dark makeup like dark dark eye makeup on with this hair color that I have but I've been wanting to do like a little bit more of an everyday type of glowy look and I just don't want to do the dark eyeliner every single day so this is what I've been doing I'm using this uh, Mario palette 
This is so simple. I literally use two shades of this. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's like a medium brown. And this shade is slightly pink. I don't know how to describe this shade, but it has like a, it has a pink undertone for sure. And all I do is start in my crease and I just blend these out. And that's basically it. I just use these two colors and I just blend them in the crease and that's literally it and the reason i like this shade is because of the i feel like the little pink undertone just brightens my eyes so much like i feel like it makes my eyes pop when before i was just using browns i don't feel like i had eyeshadow that was doing that so if you have colored eyes even if you have brown eyes this would still be really pretty um and also it ties in obviously with my hair i feel like all my makeup kind of revolves around what my hair looks like or how it's looking that day but this is the perfect go-to eye makeup for me i definitely should have concealed my lids a little bit more because i can see my freaking veins like popping out and it's just not it's not what i want the next thing i do is i take the same exact two shades and i just do the lower lash line i always do a lower lash line no matter what like it doesn't matter if it's a simple go-to everyday makeup look always do the lower lash line because i just feel like my eyes look weird without the top and the bottom matching what am i doing next my brain just like froze like my brain just blacked out and i have no idea what's next oh my god <laughs> mascara okay that's what we're gonna be doing we're doing mascara this is the lancome idol i am not doing eyeliner this is like my everyday glowy look and i just don't like the eyeliner with I just like a subtle little moment. Next up, we're gonna do the highlighter. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Want. Oh my God, it exploded. You guys, this exploded everywhere. No, there's like so much wasted product. What happened? What did I do to this? Oh my God, I'm kind of sad because whatever, I'm gonna use my finger and I'm gonna just dot that on. And blend it out. This highlighter is so pretty, but oh my god, what did I do? What happened? I must have left the cap unscrewed and like it got squeakies really hard. Okay, I feel like I placed that in and it didn't blend out. Guys, help. Okay, this is a flop. Putting that away. We're gonna go on with a different highlighter. <laughs> this is my favorite highlighter. Anyway, this is the Bare Minerals highlighter and this is in the shade Free. You guys can see I love this. If I'm using a powder highlighter, I always set my face. There it is. That way, this highlighter sticks onto the cheekbones a little bit more. How freaking cute. I'm so pissed because I applied that directly on my cheek and look at it, like didn't blend out. Like it just looks like a line. I'm gonna try and blend that out a little bit later. Now is the time where I wipe this away and look at that. It's like so nice and clean underneath there and you can see it just makes my uh, bronzer and everything just look nice and separated and it gives me a nice little contour. So I just love the way that that looks, which is why I leave it on for so long because it just looks way nicer. Now I'm going to nose contour. I'm using this Gucci bronzer and a little bitty, I think this is an eyeshadow brush. I have no idea what kind of brush this is, but I just use it to shape the sides. Give it a little bit of shading. This really doesn't do too much, but I just feel like naked without it. I just don't feel myself if this is not contoured. I'll do a little under the lip. Look at that. Give a little illusion. <laughs> Yay! Now we're moving on to the lips. I'm going to be taking this Maybelline lip liner. This is in the shade Rich Chocolate. I love this freaking lip liner. It's so good. It looks really brown online, but it's really not. So I just overline I just can't believe this shade is called like chocolate and look at the cap of it like it looks like it would be Kind of a brown but on my lips. It always looks just like a dark like a mauve pink. 
I don't know. Now I'm gonna go in with this Buxom lip liner in Incognito. This just like brightens up the center of the lips. So it's not super harsh. And then I take the little brush end of it on the other side and blend the liner together. And lastly, we're taking this Buxom lip gloss. This is in the shade, what is, full on? No, this is in the shade Celeste. It's a full on lip gloss, but this is so good. Now, the last step is adding in my hoops. I'm done officially with my makeup. Oh my gosh, but I always gotta add in in the jewelry I never do my makeup with my hoops on because I always end up getting makeup all over them and then like they just look crusty but this is the full look everyone maybe I should spray my face one more time lovely okay this is the full makeup look I hope that you guys liked it again I will leave all the products down below don't forget to follow me on Instagram TikTok. Twitter, Pinterest, wherever you guys can find me. Don't forget to follow me over there because I love talking to you guys. Let me know what you liked about this makeup tutorial. If you're going to try any of these little tips out or makeup products out, I would love to see you guys recreating some of these looks, just like trying different foundations that I'm showing you guys or concealers, highlighters, whatever it is. I just love talking to you guys. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.